Dance the Radio 91.1. What's up, Benugu? Nina is here with you. And guess who we have in the studio is Victor Edinan. Okay, I sound horrible whenever I try to sing. So I think I'll just let him do this for me. It's okay. Victor Edinan. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I think it sounds better in live performance than, you know, when I listen to the song. <laughs> Do you ever feel that way whenever you have a song done and you feel like, oh, when it was in the studio, I was feeling it better, but now it's out. I'm not really feeling it. Uh, no, no, no. Whatever I bring out, I'm, I'm 100% okay with it. Oh, you're always yeah. comfortable with yeah. it. So whenever your song is coming out, you never have that feeling of, no, no, ah, no. will it do well? No, no, no. I always get excited knowing it's going to do well. Oh, okay. All right. So let's get to know you now because I think before 2018, a lot of people did not really know who Victor Eddy was. Yeah, the yeah. first time I actually heard about you was from motivation by erica yeah and that was when i was like oh i actually liked motivation because of you (laughs) (laughs) i did just say that but i'm telling you loki i liked it because of you so how did it all start for you i actually started composing my own song at the age of six Mm -hmm. uh, inspired by uh, my neighbor then I used to call him one neighbor. Mm-hmm. Then from there, I moved on. I left Lagos at Jangbari when I was eight years old to worry. My family and I were located to worry. And from there, I was when I started taking music serious. I was actually lead singer of a band. Went through tick and thing with them. Went for several auditions, music auditions and all that you get. So that was how the journey was for me. Let's talk about you starting music at the age of six. I mm-hmm. always wonder, like, okay, when artists say they started music at the age of two <laughs> or they started in their mom's womb, I'm like, okay... Okay. Can, <laughs> okay, can no. we be real now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how is, did you start music at the age? Okay, this this is reality. I had a neighbor then. You see, there's a break we close to where we stay. Okay. So the guy we always come out and the, every morning the, the only thing he says whenever I wants to get you one neighbor they disturb us <laughs> when we just sleep we like one neighbor then we the children then when whenever we want to meet him like ah bro you work in the bakery I can't give us bread now you get my point. I had love for talking drama. I could remember that actually then, when I was about six, seven years, I saved money to buy a talking drum for like two months. My money for lunch and all that. I had to save it for like two months to get myself a talking drum. So then I would just go to him and be like, I want the ever fu alo me, go fu alo me. Fu anisha, go fu anisha. Fu bread, go fu bread. You get my point. So that in Yoruba, that means give us money, you don't want to give us money. Give us bread, you don't want to give us bread. And you claim to be one neighbor. So what kind of a neighbor are you? you get? So I just put that into the music and play my drum with it and go with my team, my crew. <laughs> you will just go disturb and all that. Then from there, you just give us bread. Sometimes you just say, oh, yeah, guy, you guys should go and bring this firewood. And after bringing this one, set it here, then we give you bread. Okay. That was how it was. Then. <laughs> Okay, so that was how music started for yeah. you. Okay, how about professionally? When did you start doing music? Yeah, professionally, it started 2014. That was when I dropped my first song, Joel. Okay. But before then, I was actually leading off a band. Then I was singing other people's songs. All right, so you studied at Aoshi Polytechnic, right? Yeah, Aoshi Polytechnic. Then that was when I took music serious. Okay. I was doing pigeon English covers of other Western songs, like All of Me, Hero, okay. and the rest of them. So that was how it started for me. And people were like, ah, Victor, the nice one, nice one. There was a day I performed, Dean of Our Student Affair then. He just came out and I was like, wow, you're singing and people are actually feeling this way. You, you got a standing innovation for this in school and he gave me money to record my first song. And then the norms then, the definition of Dean then, like, ah, they want to know how far, how is your GP doing? How are you doing? You get my point. Yeah. So not to encourage you, but mine will be like, ah, how far, when are you dropping the next song? Hmm, when is the next real? song coming? Yeah, I swear down. Your Dean was really yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So he was the one that actually encouraged me. Even when I left school, I was like, how far? I never hear your new song go. So you did a song and you didn't send it to me. I'm hearing it outside first. I'll be, come on, send me the song. And that was how it was. Okay, so how were you able to, you know, combine school? Because the course you actually studied, that's yeah. electrical engineering, yeah. right? I think every course in the university is actually difficult, but yeah. it's not a course that you can easily just wake up and skill through school, doing oh. music and having your attention divided. So how okay. did you combine Okay, okay. then mine I had no choice because I grew up from a poor background. So I actually used the money I got from the music to see myself through school. You get my point? So if I know if I know do the music at the end of the day, there will not be school fees. There will not be money for textbooks, so I had no choice. Okay. I just need to do it. So for weekends, I'll just go out with my band, sing, get one or two for myself, and come back to school, buy my textbook, and follow up. Okay, so at what point did you know that, look, music was really the career path I was going to try? Yeah, it was after that day when I found at my school auditorium, and my dean called me and I was like, ah, bro. Although I knew I was going to do it, but okay. I was still skeptical and may I make let me just finish because I, I actually had my ND result there and I was pretty technical. I didn't go back for H and D. So okay. after then I was just like, bro, I'm not going back for H and I must make this music. So why you guys are trying to make your results? My dear, they also for my own. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, so do you, do you ever have moments where you feel like, okay, you might want to go back to school later on to finish up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So much pressure for my mom, my parents then, because at the end of the day, they want the best for their child. So then my mom, ah, when are you going back for it? And I said, Mwale, money no day, no day. Which one is when are you going back? You know, I said, don't worry. And the small one we have, we struggle, just go back. But me, deep down, I knew I don't want to go back now. I want this music. I want to put myself on the map first, put that music there before any other thing. So that was it. But now these days, they don't come here and ask me, when are you going back to Say, how about when are you listening to the next song? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, talking about yeah. waiting again, it sounded like something you had gone through in life yeah. and it was coming from deep down yeah, inside yeah. of you. So, how exactly did that come about? Was it from personal experiences? Were you frustrated at that moment? Yeah. Were you going through a very tough time in your life? Yeah, I was on the edge of giving up then. Uh, it was very tough for me then because I had to sacrifice so many things for this music. And I wasn't getting it the way I thought it was going to be. After I left school for about two years, and I was still not like I was in the same spot then. I was going, but I wasn't going fast. It was slow for me. Went for several auditions, no way. Went for Project Fame, I Nigeria Idols, and the rest of them. If they are having three auditions in different cities, I'll go for the three cities. If I fail for Lagos, I'll go to Portugal. If I fail for Portugal, I'll go to Benin. And I had live band experience. So me then, I thought I had what it takes then to make it in life musically. But at, at the point in time, I got to realize that things. Not working out the way I thought it would be. That was, that was why I decided to pray for grace. I'd be like, oh God, you know it's me and you don't talk, make it manifest. This street now, my grace, don't go super the car because I'm forced to. It's me I want to do again. So I just <laughs> like, I then God, take over. At the end of the day, I God's grace, we are here. So did you think it was going to be as big as it is right now? No, like I said, I was just pointing out my heart to God. It, it's something I should have done in the secret. And based on the fact that I was um, that I'm a musician, I had to just put it out there. Okay, might just record and let people hear my own side of the story. Because so many people are saying, ah guy, you need to move to Lagos, you need to do this one, you need to do that one. You need so many. I said, let me just tell you what I feel inside right now. So I just put it out. And when I put it out, I never wanted to promote it. I never knew it was going to be like this big and this fast for me. I knew uh, people were going to hear it, but I never thought it was going to be like fast and big. Let's talk about your new project now. Yeah. Uh, no idea. Right? Yeah. Okay, I actually did that song before Waiting Again. Okay. I recorded the audio before Waiting Again. I just released the video recently. So people were like, ah, oh, Victoria, they would like that song. It was it was so good about around the relationship there. I don't want to go deep in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, it was it a heartbreak? Uh, no, not like there was actually a heartbreak. It was the others guys we don't form hand before and everything. <laughs> Okay, so talking about the girls, since you brought it up, I didn't want to bring it up, since you brought up the, <laughs> <laughs> the topic of our girls. Yeah, you know, yeah. How has your female fan base been uh, so I can remember when I posted the picture for this, I mean, no idea. Then I just said, ah, thank God, I've actually found the one I love at the end of the day. And most people, I mean, I thought I was married. They'd be like, ah, Victoria, yeah, so you married so fast. I thought, I thought I was going to be the one to have. So I said, I didn't look for wives since, and I have female fans here that actually need me to marry them. Oh, yeah, I won't go at the pop ups. They started popping up their own story, and everybody was thinking their own side of it. But this was cool anyway. But is there any serious one somewhere? No, 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 I'm single for now. Searching? No, I'm not searching. Still yes, searching for, still searching for more grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about your future plans? What's the big picture for Victor? Yeah, Lady? I plan on taking my sound international, okay. like fully international. I'm having several shows outside the country this year and next year, yeah. So UK tour, KC, Malaysia, Turkey, Istanbul, and all that. So I'm trying to pull more and spread the gospel just just spread the gospel everywhere make it touch everybody so if you were to feature a nigerian artist which nigerian artist would you feature that would make your dreams come true so to say mm, at the end of the day i won't lie to be sincere with you i don't really have anybody in mind that i okay. yeah it's just that when i do a song and i picture you that you are going to fit in that i'll go for you so if i do a song and i need whiskey in it i'll put whiskey but someone i respect so much is to baba okay. respect to baba respect brian and all the artists how yeah. about african artists outside of nigeria uh, uh, outside of nigeria, outside of nigeria. Uh, i've not thought of that but i've actually worked with kwame region oh, yeah. Really? yeah yeah is yeah. it out no it's not out yeah. okay. I've I'm actually looking forward to that one yeah 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 so it's just anybody doing good music generally no okay. nobody in mind no specific person in mind talking about going international uh which international artists would you like to work with Ah, GZ number one, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's very possible. Ah, it's very possible. Oh, my goodness, oh God, you sure? <laughs> Jay Z first, Jay-Z. before anybody. Jay Z, okay. Then we'll go, we'll go for Adele. Adele. Go for Passenger and the rest of them. Okay. Now I know where you're headed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you used to be a rapper. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was when I said no, initially I started as a singer, but at the end of the, you can't get one time. You can't bless another rap line. They say pass. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And right now, it's like singing that is selling more. No, no, no. I actually made up my mind before I started singing. Then I have not made up my mind yet. I was just here, there, 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 still trying to get, still trying to get, look for a better place to land. But at the end of the day, I, uh, well, this rap is not working for me. When my people started knowing me, my own.